It's your guy Boris Yeltsin, straight from Blaviton in a six bedroom, three story townhouse, all on suite plus SQ, with a garage of four cars, a garden, a rooftop terrace, and a lift in the property. Without wasting too much time, let's get to see what we have behind me. Let's go. So, Paddy, without taking them inside first, let's show them what we have outside here. Yes. Number one, look at the PVC chocolate cladding on the wall mm -hmm. with a mixture of the beige textured tiles. Yes. Right? With a mixture of the grey, light grey wall master that goes all the way that way. Mm -hmm. But what do you like about the property? I mean, uh, just the structure itself. So, it looks very modern. Uh -huh. Uh, modern design. I like the way outside it's just not plain paint and yes. colors. Okay. They've used uh, the tiles and the PVC cladding, which makes it look more exactly. chic and expensive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, contrast, the contrast of the color brings uh, class in it and makes it look so beautiful. The light gray tone, the dark chocolate, beige one, uh, the beige color, and even the design of it is full of modernity. It's not those old townhouses brings a lot of modernity, a lot of straight lines mm. on the structure. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of straight lines, right? Yes. Yeah, which looks so masculine. Yes. Now here is the garage for four cars. Now once you drive in, you park your cars, it can fit any size of a car. Name it SUVs, if you've got a Range Rover, LX570 can fit here, two of them, and even two Range Rovers can fit comfortably. I mean, even four LX570s can comfortably fit. fit. That's very true. The garage is so huge, there is light, and there's the access that gives you access to the lift from the garage point. Yes. Before we get there, I want to show you what you have on that side, mm -hmm. which is the ramp that caters for the aged and the disabled. Come see it, but then again, I won't start the interior from first from the first floor. Yes, I'll start from the basement. Yes, so come this way. But then, Paddy, yes, these lights you'll see the beauty of these lights once it gets dark. Yes, it pops out from these light gray walls mm -hmm. and it illuminates this structure, makes it look so so pronounced and beautiful. Also, illuminates the driveway so oh, that yeah. everyone else that's going down to their property on the yeah. bottom of the yeah. development. Yes gets a lot of light. Oh yeah, and even we cannot ram on the walls yes, besides, yes. very, very important. Now this is the ramp that takes you up into the property. Then here is the garden. So I won't get in through this point. I'll take you down, show you the door that takes us in the property from the basement. We start from the first level, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. But before we get to the basement, I would like to talk about the partitioning that you know gives a bit of uh, a demarcation to the garden, mm -hmm. which you can plant some nice trees over there. Are they trees or what? Yes, yes, yes. I think Flower those are bamboo trees. Maybe. Bamboo trees. Yes. Okay. Then that will give you much privacy on the garden. Yes. Now look at this ramp. On the ramp there is this glass, which also beautifies the ramp itself, and also allows light to flow onto the ramp, and also allows light to penetrate into the six meter high, full length glass that brings a lot of natural lighting on that double volume lounge I'll show you once we land on the first level, on the first floor of this beautiful townhouse. Moving down, there is this concrete louvers you're seeing here. This concrete louvers, the purpose of it is to bring privacy on your door. That means your neighbor cannot get to see through your door into your property once you open the door because the door is a bit huge door that is double door which once you open it shows everything in your entry foyer of this property straight from the parking you get these black double doors you open you land at your first level of the property on the right hand side you have got a lift that gives you access direct into your primary bedroom on the last level of the property stick around i'm going to show you what you have on your primary bedroom this side where the stairs is island stairs have got more storage and then Behind here, it's crazy, look at the space. Huge space. It's an entertainment area, only for those who want to entertain themselves, like me and maybe you who's watching. Now here, you put a very big coach here. You can put a lot of seats, comfortable seats, 
for the movie or cinema area, because this is a cinema area. Yes. You mount your TV on the wall, they've got provisions for internet, cable, you can connect to cables and watch movies and you know, Netflix from this point. Yes. For me, I won't go with white walls, mm -hmm. I'll go with the sunproof walls and make them dark. Gives you a very dark vibe and chill and very relaxed. Paddy, what do you have to say, brother? I mean, this place just feels like a, another parking lot. Another parking asking. lot? Yeah. Okay. It feels like an extension of the parking lot. Oh, yeah, it's so huge. It's so huge. Yeah. So definitely, as you said, uh, you really can't just leave it all for a cinema room. Exactly. And that's why I think this... Oh, this, uh, yeah, partitioning here. Partitioning is there yeah. so that it can uh, help you, like, design the room very, very well. true and then at the corner there yeah. i think you're going to explain more about oh, the yeah. provisions so now you ask me boris now this place is so huge what do i do most of my clients who have bought this development what they've done on this level i've got two i've got taps here provisions just in case you want to put a sink and they've done mini bars here they put some wines here right mm -hmm. so they can store their wines here so maybe you are watching movies and you want to entertain yourself you can come get your wine from the mini bar the next to it we have uh guys of gone with the pool table some of that you know a table tennis you know for the kids to play here maybe they want to enjoy themselves they get it from this point i've got sockets just in case you want to you know connect to coffee makers you can connect to coffee makers from this socket all that one and you know just make coffees for your guests as they're enjoying themselves on the entertainment area. Mm -hmm. Paddy, I've got LED strip lights on the ceiling, bring a lot of vibe on this space, a lot of modernity, and a lot of spotlights just to illuminate the space. Yes. But Paddy, what do you think? Would you go with the white ceiling or what you go with? Um, I would definitely make this like a Rolls Royce roof. Okay. I don't know what they call it. Uh, okay. Maybe a skylight with the small lights, blue, with a blue ceiling, okay. and then the small LED lights. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You mean like you have a dark ceiling, like a black one, yes, yes, yes. navy blue, yes. they have got like uh, stars, yes, luminance like, exactly. for the ceiling. Stars. Gives you very nice look, like a night, like a night out. Yes, yes. Right? Looks like you're looking at the sky. At the sky. Green sky. Yes. Yet it's a fake one. <laughs> <laughs> now this space here is for those who like to work out i do like working out this could be a gym area the good thing about is a very big window over there bringing air circulation on this point and then this window you can open it and allow air to flow into the cinema or even natural lighting to move into that space this can be a private kids play area your kids can play here you can have toys you can have you know like those swings they can, they can just play here by themselves no interruption nothing to worry about yes. let me tell you see, see what you have on the next space here now this one here you'll wonder boris why do you have this bedroom down here very important remember i told you this space is an entertainment area yes. guys enjoy themselves mm -hmm. guys may get drunk sometimes yes. things may get messy sometimes yes. and you don't want your guests to embarrass themselves walking up into your other bedrooms you know sometimes they vomit guys are you know to, i mean guys are just they're drunk like crazy. What happens? <laughs> they just walk straight into their guest bedroom yes. and sleep here comfortably without tampering and interfering with anything in this property. The layout is well thought out. Yes. Come in. So this is a very huge space for the guests, right? Yes. They are separate from, you know, from everything in the property. They have got a private space. Maybe they have come with their partners. They want to enjoy themselves. They can just have some good time here. It's far away from the other, you know, rooms of the property. Yes. But what do you think, buddy? I mean, very strategic location for this guest room. Yeah. And then also, definitely, you have the curtain rails. Yes. So it can be very private. private oh, yeah, there. very true. Then again, I've got a closet over there that opens out. I've got those sliding windows over there, mm -hmm. bringing air circulation, natural lighting. The ceiling, just the same as what you've seen on the entertainment area. I've got these LED lights on the gypsum. That is your toilet. Look at the toilet. The toilet has got huge marble-like tiles that are nicely bookmarked. You can see that? Yes. They yes. like the, 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 the tones, mm -hmm. the black and white, then gold. Yes. Paddy, what do you see? <laughs> I mean, um, elevated step for the uh, shower cubicle. Yes. So that anything, all the water that drains from your body, 
can Goes easily down. go down your skin. Oh, yeah. Very, very important. I've got a hanging toilet over there. I've got a heating system, very nice sink, and medicine cabinetry, and also LED strip on the gypsum. That's now, that's not enough. We're going to see what we have on the first floor of the property. Just when you want to walk into the property or use the ramp, the first floor is just above me here. So follow me, see what we have up here. Come, I want to show you something. Follow me. I want to show you something. Now, I've got step lights here, like a motion sensor. And then this one here, just in case I move or even touch it, the lights go on. Look at that. The lights go on. And once I step here, these step lights can light. I don't know why it's, you see? The light. Very important. Yeah. Yeah. Follow me up. So Paddy, before we get to see anything on this level, of course the lift is just on the right hand side. I want to show you something on that side. Come this way, see what you have on the garden side. Come see. So, into my garden. I have a small party over here. This is your garden. You can decide, go with the green grass if you want to or convert these. Have concrete and have some, you know, gazebos here. Just for a chilling area, you can do barbecue on this level. You can entertain your friends on this level. Just having more outdoor spaces uh, than what you have on the terraces and the and the balconies. Yes. Yes, buddy. And I also like the way the tree just covers up this place. Okay. It means even during the day, yeah. it'll have a shade down here. Yeah. So it's very comfortable cool. and yeah. cool. And then once the bamboo, the Grows. bamboo trees grow on the on the small hedge yeah. right, right over there, it becomes more private. It becomes more private. Very very true. Then again, buddy, something you have to appreciate is. The spotlights. For now, maybe you cannot see how the spotlights pop out right nicely. But once it get it, it gets dark, which I believe Paddy will try get the shots when it's a bit dark. I mean, they you, they they'll see it. Of course, yeah, yeah they'll have they'll, it. Yeah. They'll, they can see it. <laughs> Don't worry, they, can, they, see they can see it. <laughs> <laughs> so the light that nicely illuminates the grass gives a very good contrast between the grass and the white walls on that side. So I'm jumping into my dining area. The dining area overlooks the garden, having a breakfast the view of the garden having the breeze from the garden side and also i have to appreciate and you also have to appreciate me you you also have to appreciate this and agree with me that the full length glass allowing a lot of natural lighting to flow into the garden mm -hmm. very important and also improve the view from the garden side yes from, from the dining side yes yes I mean, the kitchen and the dining just freely opens into the garden. Very so true. That makes it just, even for entertainment, it makes it a very big space. That's very true. Yeah. Now, when, when you're in the kitchen, you also get a view of the outdoors. Garden. And even when you're in the garden, you get a straight line of sight into your open plan kitchen. Yes. But I don't know, is it right for us to go this way or we go that way, then come this way, then go the other way? I think it's right if you just follow me. Okay. As I'm moving okay. into the lounge. <laughs> wow, this one is crazy, man. A double volume ceiling has got recessed motorized curtain rails, which you can close and open your curtains with a touch of a button. Mm -hmm. This here is your place just to put your remote. Yes. So you can just access it, press, it opens. Press, it goes. Very, very important. Look at the glass windows. Very huge windows. You'll appreciate this more during the day. A lot of light flows into the lounge. Now, look at this one here. This one for me is it's iconic. Yes. This space in between. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of those slab, you know, marble like tiles. Huge, man. Very huge. I even don't understand how they're able to fit this on the wall. Yes. Funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very difficult to understand because they've tried to also bookmark match it yeah if you can see book match it very true yeah, and it, it it looks just so grand it looks it's very beautiful. so beautiful in fact during the day you may not understand you may not appreciate these but now when it gets dark the walls pop out now this this wall here sits back and relaxes that's where you can get to see it yes. you mount your tv on this wall you've got all this space for you to sit down enjoy with family you can decide to watch TV from here, maybe news or something, or if you don't want to mix with, say your kids are in the cinema room and you want just to sit alone watching news, you can sit here. If you don't want to sit in the family room, yes. you can just sit over there. Or even your guests can also sit here and you know have some good time, buddy. Yes. Yeah. I mean the family room is also very strategically placed. Exactly. 
overlooking the oh, main overlooking lounge. The lounge. Yeah, <laughs> it's so amazing. And, and I like that idea. It makes every space connected. Connected. Yes. So that means when you when you are here and somebody's up, they can easily communicate. Yeah. Now you see sometimes having walls in a property brings a lot of disconnection. Guys lose touch. When somebody gets into their spaces, they become very antisocial. Mm -hmm. This improves socialism. Yes. In fact, it's a six-bedroom, almost with social. <laughs> social hall. Social hall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Boris, and before we even continue, yes. I'd like to just repeat this. Because uh, in my future life, I don't want to be an entertainer. Okay. And I'm also having a big house like this. Okay. When I move to the corner, just look Show at them how big it is. If there's a party in here, there's nobody <laughs> leaving. <laughs> No party, come on. You too much of, you know, party, party, party. But you like party so much, man. <laughs> no party. Show them what you have up there. Look at those spotlights, the way they are cylindrical. It's a pattern over there, very cylindrical. And I've got those LED strip lights from the gypsum. It's very grand. It illuminates the lounge. And even the tiles on the floor, marble-like tiles, the huge tiles, very iconic and they stand out. And here, I've got these partitioning here, very, very thoughtful. Now, ask people, why do you have this? Number one, the reason is to allow the flow of natural lighting into the entry foyer here. Number two, is to allow your room to decorate this space and make it more beautiful. Number three, is to bring more privacy. When guys walk in from the ramp into your house, they cannot get to see everything happening on the lounge. Yes. Maybe you are alone with the wife in the house mm -hmm. and somebody comes in and maybe you are, you know, uh, making out sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, you have to enjoy yourself. Being, being romantic. Being romantic with the wife. Then somebody just walks in and gets, sees you. Uh, come on, it's, it's not nice. So this is just to give you more privacy. Yes. Making the room a bit private on that lounge side. Party. So that you see them before they see you. <laughs> <laughs> you can get to see them before they see you. Very important. Yes. Now here, let's take them out, buddy. Show them what you have here. I have these double doors. Always like the ones on the basement, just from the garage. Mm -hmm. Two double doors that open in. They open in, you use the ramp, then they open in. Buddy, having a ramp is very important. It means you're considering guys who are disabled or even guys who are aged, who cannot use stairs. And sometimes guys are even scared of using the lift, maybe. Mm. Your guests are not scared of using the lift, maybe, or, you know, people are different. So they can use the ramp. Somebody has got, maybe an emergency happens in the, in the house and the ambulance comes and they wants to get somebody out very mm. fast. This will really help you. Yes. And I told you those concrete louvers brings a lot of privacy on your entry foyer. Here is a space and you have got provisions for water features like a water fountain. You can put it in that space over there. Yeah. And you can also add some plants just to bring greenery onto that white. Let me jump in. Entry foyer. On this side, I've got aluminum-like louvers. Mm -hmm. This was here mm -hmm. to bring more privacy. When somebody walks upstairs and there's someone seated here, you cannot get to see. No, I like being, I mean, open and very honest. Those aluminum-like louvers bring a lot of privacy on the stairs. Maybe your wife is having a short dress or a short skirt, or maybe your daughter has a short skirt. So when they walk over there, it tries to bring more privacy and even, you know, conceal. Yes, conceal the belongings. Very yes, important. <laughs> buddy, there's something you want to say, buddy? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I think I'm still shocked by your explanation. No, as the viewers true. are. <laughs> oh, they're dying out of laughter. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> it's very true. Now, what can you do here? You can put two seats here. Maybe your driver is coming to pick your kid. They can sit here, wait. So they don't have to sit at the lounge. Mm -hmm. They sit at the two accent chairs here. They wait for your kid to come. There's a coffee table here. They can have a magazine. You can have a magazine. Maybe say serve them coffee from here as they're waiting. Very important. The good thing is it's facing this side. Yes. Therefore, they don't even interfere with the privacy on that side. Yes. Another thing again, buddy, is the size of the entry for you. It's so huge, buddy. Yeah. Very, very huge. The entire family can walk in at the same time. I've got two black double doors. And those double doors are very, very have got smart, you know, lock. You can use a key, you can use a cord, you can use a face to open the door. Mm. And here, there's a space here, buddy. Mm -hmm. This space, we can do something with it. What yes. do you think, buddy? I think here you can place like um, 
something like an aquarium. Yes. Just to beautify the entry, entry foyer. foyer. Yeah. And then just some little plants on the side. Yeah. Also can just uh, help to improve the beauty of it. Oh yeah, and for me, I think I've I've walked into a lot of high-end property, you know, which real estate. What I've seen them doing is they place a piano here. Oh yeah. Yeah, they can, you can place a piano over there. Mm -hmm. Maybe a kid likes playing piano. You can play, you know, some piano. Just enjoy yourself. Or just to beautify the space. Just to beautify the space as well. Yes. Another thing is, I've got, you know, this shoe rack. You can put your shoes on that space. Very, very important. Another thing to appreciate again, buddy, is this ceiling here with LED stripped lights. Mm. It just illuminates, sheds light everywhere. It's gorgeous. And the contrast between the chocolate and the white. Beautiful. You walk in. For me, I won't go with this boring feature wall. I'll try and put some decoration here mm -hmm. to make it stand out. While somebody gets in, they notice my feature wall. Yes. I know what you'd put there. Tell me what? Either a painting of a wolf. <laughs> of course. Or a sculpture of a wolf. Of course. Why not? Because of the wolf. Come on. <laughs> and you put something nice that stands out. You can decide, you know, uh, put some nice wall paint that, you know, resonates with you. For me, the wolf is nest with me if you come to my office or if you haven't come to, come to my office, of course you've seen the wolf on the wall. Yeah, very important. Now here, I've got spotlights that illuminate these shelves. You can put some decos again on those spaces. Here, you can go with an electric fireplace that warms the entire floor. Mm. Very, very important. Let me take it this way. But before we jump this side, I want you to notice this. This is the lift right shaft this is a lift shaft and the lift shaft has got recessed lights just illuminating the lift and then another thing is the curve yes this curve is so beautiful but i love it buddy. and it goes all the way it goes all the way to the last floor yes very important come this way buddy here is my kitchen it's an open plan kitchen with a straight line of sight into the garden the kitchen comes an island it comes with a full burner cooker and one induction the kitchen has got a hanging hood which comes with the property as well. Now here, the island has got marble-like tiles. Just look at how the black rings just pop out nicely from the white island countertop. Very important. I've got more cabinetries around it. There's more space around it. And that wall comes with an inbuilt two microwaves and one oven. But we can decide how one microwave one warmer and one oven. That space over there, you can use it as more storage. And those cabinet doors, they have got soft clothes, they don't burn. All this way is a lot of cabinet spaces, more storage. I've got a very big window here bringing natural lighting from this side. Two sinks here, stainless. I've got a port filler, right? Very important. And I also have a dishwashing machine which comes the property. And here is where you put your double door fridge. Paddy, what do you say, brother? I mean, the kitchen is just wonderful. I like the open plan concept. Yes. And the hanging. Oh yeah, at this. Oh, the hanging wood. Yes. I did. Did you, did you manage to notice the ceiling here is a bit identical? I mean, it's a bit unique. Yes, it's a bit unique, but it's identical to the ceiling. Identical the to the entry for your ceiling. Very yes. important. Chocolate, nicely done with some nice LED spotlights, just you know, illuminating from that ceiling projecting how beautiful it is. Now, I forgot to mention something. Just in case there is water spillage on the floor, there is here a floor trap that allows water to drain out from the kitchen floor. See that? Yes, yes. Very important. This is the pantry. I've got sockets over there. Just in case you have to connect your electronics, you can connect also in the pantry. I don't know. Whichever works well for you, you can use that socket for. Here, this is a laundry space. Comes with a sink. Comes with a sink as well that you can use for, you know, just to dry your mopper as you clean the spaces. I've got a corner over there you can put a washing machine. I've got a pipe there that allows you to connect your cylinder to that pipe, then it pipes the gas to the cooker mm -hmm. from this area. Very, very important. Yeah. Very, very, so you don't need to put the gas cylinder on the kitchen side. Mm -hmm. Now here, this nicely cladded ceiling, it's beautiful with that spot, that light over there. You know, it looks so gorgeous and I like the contrasting bright white light and this nicely cladded ceiling gives me a vibe of an old school vibe we used to have, you know, these hood ceilings. Yes. Then this is your SQ, this is the SQ, uh, which is ensuite with the same finishes in all 
the washrooms. I want to go in, we have bureaus here to see it. There's more space here. Some guys have converted these into an ironing area. Some use it as you know, a place just to iron your clothes. Paddy, what can you use this space for? Maybe a butler's kitchen. Butler's kitchen can also work well because now it's a bit far away from the lounge and the you know the other kitchen. Butler's kitchen, for guys who don't know, is like a chef's kitchen. Same with the chef's kitchen, dirty kitchen, where you cook your smelly foods. It's a food I like that's a bit smelly and you know, if you're cooking these kind of foods, you can do them here on this space. Come this way, see what you have on this side. Here, just, just adjacent to the lift is your clock room. Maybe you're coming in, you're pressed, maybe your guests are pressed, they can just jump in, you know, help themselves. Very important. I have got this, let me show you. This is a smart motion sensor LED mirror, which once I do that, it goes off. I do this, it goes on. Very nice. That toilet over there is a smart or nearest toilet, which once you're done doing your stuff, it warms your belonging. <laughs> And even once you're done, it cleans you. So let me show you. Once you're done, you can either tap this, then it flashes, or once you're done, when you get out, it flashes by itself. This is your clock room. And I appreciate them going with the same tiles in all the washrooms, the white marble like tiles. Let's go this way, party. This one here is your, it's the only bedroom of this level. It's on street with a walkthrough closet. It's, uh, it has more closet inside there. I'll show you something. Come. This is your closet here, which might not be enough. You can decide and convert that side. I've got another space over there, which can is, you can use as a closet. Or let me walk this way. You see? This is very smart. You can easily walk around your closet, dress privately on that side. Then you come back, sleep here. Maybe you have a friend who has come to, you know, to stay with you. Maybe your son has a friend who has just come for a weekend. And maybe your son wants to change clothes. He doesn't need to get into the washroom and put on the trouser. They can just go behind that, over there, very private, change the clothes, and then join the friends here, continue watching movies and playing games. Then this one here, this is not just a closet, it's like a cabinetry. Maybe your son has won a trophy, there's some artifacts, some collectibles. They can store them here. See that? They can store them here and just display them nicely. Very beautiful. And for me, I'll remove these MDF doors and put a glass. So when somebody walks in, they can see what your son has yes. achieved. Very, very important. Yeah. The ceiling is the same, buddy. Yes, buddy. And I like how they've maintained the strip lights in every room. Yes. And the spotlights gives oh, yeah. them a very unique feel. Yeah. All the bedrooms have this thing. The same feel, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very chill and quiet. They don't forget, man. This panel light here, I love it. It's so beautiful. So unique and beautiful, just illuminating this corner. I believe uh, you can decide put your phone or something on that side, because mm -hmm. that pennant light illuminates that. Yeah. Yes, but And it's also a very nice night light, just help you sleep off. If, you do, if you've just switched off all the lights, yeah, and leave that on. That. Yeah. Oh, even for use, reading. Even for reading, very, very true. I didn't think about that. The other thing I think, Paddy, we can use that for is just deco. Yeah. Very true. Once it's dark, it looks so beautiful. Let's go see what we have on the next level of the house. This house will shock you, man. It's so gorgeous. Don't go anywhere, man. It's your guy, Bones, man. You know, you know what we do. Don't, 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 don't leave, man. Let's go up, see what we have. Follow me. Boom. Party, I'm on the second floor or the third level of this asset. In front of me is my lift. Here, I've got two bedrooms that are identical. They're all on suite. Same sizing and same layout. I'll show you in a minute. Before I go anywhere, here is my intercom. I can call, I can message, I can have a live view of what is happening on the gate. And even I can set, do my settings. Very important. On my left hand side here, this is where we have the family room. Remember, on the basement, that was not the family room, that was a cinema area, a movie area, a home theater room. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, here is our family area. We can sit here and have some good time. Kids can even play games if they want to. Just more space to bring people together. Okay. A family or a TV room. Yes. Look at those huge, very huge. I don't know the sizing, but it's my first time seeing 
a size slab marble like of this size or even a tile of that huge size i do wonder how did they manage to fit those huge tiles on the wall Paddy. i'm just trying to figure out how they even carried them into the building oh yeah oh yeah They're very huge they stand out from that wall you can mount a tv you've got a socket over there you also have got a cable connection and even you can connect your what dstv yes you can connect your dstv from that point here is my they call it a hollow balcony you can stand here or a hollow terrace you can stand here we are tired of watching movies too much movies and you know too much light and you know noise and all the stuff you get out on this level say hello to your neighbor sit here chill have a nice view of the neighborhood trees relaxing and the good thing it has good glass on the outside looks so beautiful and gorgeous i have to appreciate as well these textured tiles here look so beautiful and the floor trap allowing drainage of water down now the full length glass full length glass floor to ceiling french windows bring intense natural lighting very very important now here i have put this glass in between and the good thing is it also beautifies this side it means you don't only have you know a closed family room yes it's open mm -hmm. you can stand here or you can sit here maybe have a view of that side that beautiful you know huge wall a very uh, for me we'll do a very huge chandelier <laughs> very huge a classic boring stand of course yeah <laughs> very huge gigantic one yes. like it's dropping on you yeah. right <laughs> just to beautify that that air level on that side yes then also this glass just looks so classy and then another thing is natural light can flow from that glass into this space yeah. you're not in a tight or closed space it's open constant you can communicate with family you can maybe say i've got a party in the property or in the house you can have a full house party just like Music's you say just you know mm. crazy and also like the way the light from the lounge just drops into this family oh room. yeah oh yeah if you can see just where I your feet see. yes i can see the light dropping into it this family. just drops yeah, yeah. very evenly into it's the very family. thoughtful and then also the frameless glass barricades yeah, yeah that's very true it looks it looks like it's standing on its own but then again there is something holding it the metal rays yeah then party let's switch this side show them this bedroom here i've got three bedrooms this is the first bedroom this bedroom is a bit unique from other bedrooms this bedroom i would give my first born, you know my first born, maybe say child mm -hmm. girl or boy yes you know you know we are all equals man so just give it to your first born. give to your first born son or girl or even you know i don't know this space this bedroom is so huge you put your bed here this is the headboard right behind it is a walkthrough closet area yes. and have got an own suite it means it has got a washroom behind it i'll show you come this way have got closets here i have got these shelves you can fold your dresses you can fold sorry not dresses i'm lying man you can fold your trousers you can decide have your briefs here if you want to you can have see some trench coats here you know and then here you can put some nice I don't know jackets mm -hmm. or say tops you know now the good thing is once you open the led lights illuminate the, the, the space you get to see what to dress on even if it's at night maybe you're going for a night out you know it's easy for you don't need to turn the lights to get to know uh, what to put on just open and it goes it goes on and the important thing about it is this glass doors they bring more glass and you can easily see through without even opening during the day and get to know what to put on yes. i've got more drawers you can put your watches you can put your belts all the stuff this is your washroom come in and the washroom is a bit different again it's more spacious right hidden system inside here i've got a hanging toilet you put your toilet here mm -hmm. right yes the sink here i've got more space down here medicine cabinetry you can put more stuff behind it here if you want to and then again look at those tiles white tiles with some nice veins and you know grains of black and nicely bookmatched i'll show you some look at this you see how the pattern flows you see how the pattern flows then it flows this side 
then if you look at here, then again, you see it clearly. You see, just have a look. You see how it flows. Mm -hmm. Very nicely bookmarked. Shower cubicle with a handle that opens. Pivoted, you see? Then have got this nice red shower head, more space, highly raised step. You take a shower, water flows down. There's a flow trap there just to keep there's more water in this space. Say you left a tap on, then the water's you know flowed onto the floor. It just sucks in and it goes out. Then you close this. Let's see what you have on the next bedroom. Come on. So we won't go to the next bedroom. I want to show you what you have on that side. So this way, but you can put your say six by six bed there. But then again, you can have a TV on that wall. Then put some small seats here if you want to. You can watch a movie from here. You can put some maybe some corner chairs, yes. some accent chairs here with a coffee table to watch a movie here. Maybe with your girlfriend mm -hmm. in the space, yes. or maybe with your boyfriend privately. And your parents won't know you have got somebody inside here. You can lock that door, and this becomes <laughs> <laughs> your private getaway. Private getaway, yeah. Nobody knows what's happening inside here. A very beautiful girl inside here, a beautiful, you know, a handsome boyfriend who came and you sneaked him in private here. Then you're tired of sitting in the house, you come out, sit here. In fact, you can go to this corner here. Even when dad is driving, he cannot see you here with your girlfriend chilling here in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> no. And even the trees, they, they, the they trees give you a very good privacy. Blockage. Nobody yeah. can see what is happening, man. But you know, I don't want to be a very bad brother or say, uh, you know, I don't want to teach you, you know, bad manners. But then again, that may happen. It happens. It shall happen. It might happen somewhere. You never know. So there's this big terrace here. Like I told you, this room you can give your firstborn child. That big terrace, you can put more seats here, have a view of the neighborhood, nicely done. Have with those stripped LED lights, you can see them illuminating the wall master with the gray, light gray paint on the wall. Gorgeous. Have with those nicely cladded wood on the ceiling, brings some old school vibes combining with the gray, brings nice combination, looks very nice with the contrast. Party, you sing something. Yes, I can even see the balcony for the office. In the oh, the problem now is if you do that, oh, you can still do it, man. If yeah. you want to do it, you can still do it because <laughs> that one is the balcony for your dad's home office. Yes. But then again, he cannot see. He cannot see he cannot what's see happening. Under. He cannot see under. He cannot see what is happening here. So <laughs> this becomes your private corner. You know, everything happens here. Yes. <laughs> uh, guys, I think you should uh, mention in the comment section if Boris is the most mischievous kid. <laughs> a very mysterious kid yes. and I'm still mysterious but <laughs> very honest with my clients. Now Paddy, we cannot go anywhere without mentioning this pillar here mm -hmm. holding that ceiling over there, mm -hmm. very important, then it's nicely cladded yes. with some chocolate PVC cladding. Look at that, nicely done, it's nice contract, it's very smart, straight lines. Mm. It makes the house pop out pop nicely. Out, yeah, and stand out. Yeah, stand out, very true. Now, let's show them the first, this third bedroom. Come this way. This is my third bedroom. Now, the third bedroom is similar to the fourth bedroom that I'm supposed to go to, but I won't go to that fourth bedroom. The reason is, the sizing and the layout is the same. The difference is, on this bedroom, you get a very nice view, green view of Laviton on my left-hand side. And then, on the other side, you get a view of the exterior of your neighbor. So the difference is just the views, sizing, layout, finishes, everything the same. Size of the washroom is the same. But you see this ceiling is consistent in every bedroom. The final light is consistent in every bedroom. The windows are very huge, bringing a lot of natural lighting. You mount your TV on that wall, you put your bed here, it rests on this headboard. You've got sockets, bedside drawers can sit comfortably. Here is my washroom, not huge as the other one, right? But it's on suite, have a shower cubicle behind me here. This is my toilet, the sink here. I've got medicine cabinetry, shower cubicle, which is a bit hidden. And then a towel provision, you can put your towel, you can hang your towels here, you can hang your trousers. You can even hang your briefs, man. After, you know, taking a shower, you'll be washing your stuff. You can hang it here. Yeah. Maybe your handkerchief, you can hang it here, just in your space. Now, this bedroom is the same with the fourth bedroom. I will not show you it. And I've explained this before everything is the same so when i take you to the next level of the property remember we have seen how many bedrooms so far that's one two three four four this is the fifth one right that's got six bedrooms the next one is up here 
I was just confused with the number ring on that bedroom. But then again, it doesn't make much of a difference. So I'm going to show you the master level. Let's go up. And boom, lights goes on. So you enter into your master bedroom level. There is nothing else on this level, it's just for the master to enjoy. Some guys say, man, using the master is so colonial. Let me show them the primary suit is here. Buddy, you've walked into many properties. Now, this is the second one I've seen. A primary level is just on its own. Yes. Many houses you go to old town houses, you find uh, there's a primary suit, there's another room again next to it. But then again, it's just by itself. Yes. I mean, um, the others that we've seen had like a lounge yeah. in the primary master. Okay. But this has a home office. Oh, yeah. It's a bit different. With the balcony. So oh, with the balcony. Give so it a bit. It's a little, a little bit different, different but yeah. I think same on the, on the same, same idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very true. This is the lift. You can use the lift, or if you're still strong enough, you want to you wanna walk out, you can use the stairs and a bit gentle, not steep and very wide. And I've got a glass here and this nicely done hooded rail. We're going this way. Let's jump in. Here is my master bedroom. The master bedroom comes with a walkthrough closet. You can walk through. This side is for your wife. She can do her makeup here. Right? And this side, you can put your ties, you can put your socks, you can put your watches, you can put your belts, you can put a lot of stuff on these spaces. I've got drawers here, you can store a lot of stuff. You can fold your jeans, you can fold your, you know, a lot of stuff you want to put here. Fits comfortable. Remember I told you, I've got this translucent glass, which allows, no, no, it's not translucent, it's slightly tinted, mm -hmm. but then again, it's transparent. Yes. Allows light to penetrate, so you can get to see what you want to put on during the day. Remember, on the day, or in the day, there's a lot of light flowing into the property, so you don't need to open it and you don't get to see what's happening for you to choose your jacket or shirt. Mm -hmm. But then at night, I just do this, then the, you see the LED goes on. Mm -hmm. It illuminates the space, even down here, you can see, they're everywhere. Motion sensor, close. It doesn't burn, soft clothes, very important. Here, I've got drawers for my wife to put her stuff here, makeup, kit, all the stuff down here, very important. This side again, I've got more closet that has got glass doors, tinted as the other one, no much of a difference, but the good thing is this, maybe I just want to have a private changing, I want to change my clothes privately. I just come here, I can also add some small Ottoman here, mm -hmm. you can see it, put on your shoes because there's more space in between there. Then I can use this route to take me to the kitchenette. After I have maybe said I came in from work, passed through here, removed my jacket, all the stuff, then my wife helped me or even helped myself to hang it on the, on the hanger. Then I go this way and I feel like today I just want to have some coffee before I sit down. I go this way because remember, this space is for coffee, because the coffee maker, mm -hmm. you can have a microwave here if you want to. Yes. And then, this thing is for me to wash my coffee cups and even say wine cups. So I can use the coffee maker, make the coffee, take the, uh, make the co clean the cup, make the coffee, then just put it in my cup and go straight into the outdoor space. The terrace, 180 degrees view terrace on the side. Here, I've got more cabinetries here. Maybe say you travel out of the country, you went to Tanzania, you travel to Senegal, you came to something unique, you stole them here. Maybe you went to, you know, the land of whiskey, you travel out, you got some nice, fine whiskey, you know. Yeah, you came Age to, 12 years. Age 12, or even more, right? Mm -hmm. Your friend maybe gifted you when you visited. You stole it here because you don't want your kids to mess with your, your drinks. Yes. You stole them here. Remember, I also have this double door fridge provision. You can put your fridge here. You can store anything you want to store that you want to use with your partner yes. in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. There is more storage here for you to store even your collectibles mm -hmm. privately here. Yes. All right? More space for you. You can even decide even make some quick, quick, quick breakfast. Yes. The space. You put your king size bed here. Very huge king size bed. There is more space on the front. You mount your TV on the wall. I have a lot of windows bring tons and tons of natural lighting to this space. The ceiling is just starting out. Look at those LED strips light and some small spotlights. But there's something I have to notice. I have to mention that it's noticeable. Guys, help me here. You may say, Boris, you're, 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 you're vulgar sometimes. Man, I'm not vulgar. I say it as it is. Look at this. What is the work of these 
spotlights here, but I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is what I'm going to say. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why we are busy here, but anyway, the bad seats here. Yes. And the lights are here. I don't know. The person who fixed the lights here. I don't know what he was thinking of. I don't know. Maybe I, he was thinking of his own things. I think he's very clever. <laughs> so he put your TV on this wall. And very important party. I have got full length glass, huge French windows, give you direct access to 180 degrees terrace, private, just for you to enjoy with the partner. You get the side, have the side, have the view of the neighborhood, green view, 180 degrees. I put floor traps and the tiles are very, very rich porcelain tiles with a hood-like finish. Here is my ceiling, which has got hood cladding with six symmetric spotlights. Very important. And I've got those two LED strip lights on the wall just to illuminate that wall over there. But for me, I'll add something in between just to make that wall pop out nice. Maybe say like a paint mm -hmm. on this wall because I kind of feel like these lights would make it look more bright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then maybe it's raining and you still want to sit out, feel the breeze, enjoy the noise that comes or the sound that comes with the rain. Or even breathe that, you know, air that, you know, as the rain falls, some nice scent. Yes, hits when it hits the soil. Yes, when it hits the soil, some nice scent. You want to feel that scent. Sit here, you know, maybe say you're reading your magazine using your phone. Enjoy the scent. This is for when there is, the weather gets adverse. Maybe say too much rain or it's too scorching outside. Oh, it's scorching. The sun is really scorching. You sit under this shade here privately for you. And also the windows here bring light to that space. And there is something I want to talk about. Don't go anywhere. I want to show you something before we leave. Come this way. Right here next to your walkthrough closet is your washroom. The washroom comes with two sinks, very huge vanity space here. I've got this soaking tub, white in color, for only those who want to get clean, like me. I've got a bidet over there, have got hanging toilet, hidden systems on the wall, and those marble-like tiles, huge, with some grains of brown, you can see. I mean, they bring a contrast a bit, some character into it, the shower cubicle is so huge with this black detail, you know, helping you get to notice the shower cubicle so you don't bang on the glass. Mm -hmm. Very important. With a pivot connection, very huge. You can shower here at the same time with your wife. The wife can go with this and you can use that. Or you can use this and your wife uses that. Very important. Now, another very important thing is these mirrors, the carved edges, they look so unique and beautiful. But there's something smart about this washroom I want to show them. In case you're showering and say you're using hot water, of course you'll be using hot water if you want to, there's a lot of steam in this space. What do you do? You take this remote, right? Then you press. Come close, man. You press this one. Then the skylight opens. You can hear it opening? Mm -hmm. It opens. You see? Then this air circulates into the washroom, just clearing the steam in the washroom, right? Then sometimes when it's raining, you don't need to close that, that uh, skylight, you leave it open, then what happens? This floor, floor trap drains out the water, you don't need to panic. Even if, say, you're out of the house and the skylight was open, then water got into your washroom, the floor trap will drain out your water. Then now, you're tired of having a lot of circulation in the washroom, you can close the bottle. Then it closes and makes the space again waterproof again. Now here, I've got this huge glass here, window, which you cannot open out. It only opens from this casement window, mm -hmm. right? But the good thing is there's lighting flowing into this washroom and also brings a lot of privacy. Nobody can get to see you from outside yes. and you also you cannot get to see what is outside, what is outside yes. but you can get to see some light flowing in yes let's jump into the other side show them what you have this side so party you notice something in every floor of this property there's an intercom you can see even the floor of room was having an intercom let me call this way here is my home office space the home office space has the provision, you can mount your TV on the wall, you can do your working from here, you can study, you can do your you know, work from here, 
you're tired of working, you can go to that space over there, put some nice uh, seats on that balcony space, sit there, need, read your newspaper with your coffee as you're having this beautiful view of the neighborhood, that's a green view of the neighborhood from this balcony. Very, very important. It's very quiet and private because now the good thing is nobody's getting to see you. Your kids cannot get to see you. Nobody can interfere with your peace from the office, relax here, then go back to work. And said, those guys who do software, take it guys who work up to midnight. This can serve them nicely. After working on that side, they can come chill here, then go back work again. Come show you something that is very, very, very important for anybody who buys this property. Now, this room here, this room can serve a lot of purpose. This room can be used as a prayer room. This room can be used as an armor. You can show it to your guards here. You know, it's very important. This room. This room again, you can decide and have this as one party. As your CCTV room. Oh yeah, server room. Server room. You can convert this into a server room if you want to. And maybe if you want to have a panic room, this can be a panic room. But then yes. again, you have to reinforce this door to make it a panic room. Yes, and even before you make it a panic room, maybe you would put a bookshelf here. Yeah. So that it has something it's like concealed. a trap door. Yes. So, so it's, a, it's a hidden door. Or concealed, you know, concealed um, panic room. Yes. Very important. Yeah. Now let's jump this way, show them this important side that they need to get to see. Here is my rooftop terrace. Very huge with motion sensors. Once they move here, the lights go on. It's a huge terrace which you can use to hold your chamas events, birthday parties, and even convert these into a mini golf if you want to course. If you want to convert this to a mini golf course, just like my other club has done, they have converted this into a mini golf course. They can shoot golf if they want to. And they have got more sockets here. You can connect your electronics. You can connect your speakers. You can mount a TV on that wall. And the good thing is I've got these concrete pagolas, you know, just beautifying this space in allowing air to circulate on this terrace. Very, very important. Like I told you, those sockets, in fact, it's not only one, they're around, say, four sockets here, just to make sure your electronics can function from this point, or even, say, phones, you want to charge a phone while you're enjoying yourself, or having chamas, you can do that. Over there, I've got a flow trap. In case there is water, uh, rain has just fallen, it goes down through that flow trap over there. Now, this property is in the market right now for only 120 million. Six bedroom, all in suite, plus SQ, sitting on approximately an eighth of an acre with a garden, a ramp, a lift, a cinema room, a garage, a huge rooftop terrace. There's a lot of things to enjoy in this listing. This property is the market right now. If you want to get to know about this listing, more about it, there's a number on the screen you can call. And I want to thank you so much for going around with me and my brother Paddy here, showing you these listings in Nairobi. And I'll say, until next time, and we say, until, until next, next time, time, on the same space, it's your guy, Boris LC.